I don't want to. Our plantations don't mean anything when... Do you mean to tell me, Katie Scarlett O'Hara, that terror, that land doesn't mean anything to you? White land is the only thing in the world worth working for, worth fighting for, worth dying for, because it's the only thing that lasts. Oh, Paul, you talk like an Irishman. It's proud I am that I'm Irish. And don't you be forgetting, Missy, that you're half Irish, too. And to anyone with a drop of Irish blood in them, why, the land they live on is like their mother. Oh, but there, there. No, you're just a child. It'll come to you, this love. In the late afternoon, without a chaperone, and then, and then he refused to marry her. No, but she was ruined just the same. Another triumph for our magnificent men in arms. General Lee has completely whipped the enemy and swept the Yankee army northward from Virginia. Yes, it began at daybreak. Uh, uh, the, the Yankees are coming. Poor Scott. You'd be a terror now with your mother, wouldn't you? If it weren't for me. Oh, Scarlet, darling. You'd be... It's all my fault. I should have committed highway robbery to get that tax money for you. Well, I couldn't let you do anything like that. And anyway, it's done now. Yes, it's done now. You wouldn't have let me do anything dishonorable, yet you'd sell yourself in marriage to a man you didn't love. Well, at least you won't have to worry about my help. Tell me what you've done that hell yawns before you. I ought never to have married Frank to begin with. He was the one born. He loved her, not me. <laughs> like you was Miss Ellen's dog. When we were trying to... Turn him around. Yeah. Oh, lady. Oh. But don't think... Has <gasps> the war started? Uh, sir, you... You shut up. He refused to fight. Nothing will hurt you. First, you take a low, common advantage of me, then you insult me. I meant it as a compliment. And I hope to see more of you when you're free of the spell of the elegant Mr. Wilkes. He doesn't strike me as half good enough for a girl of your. Uh, what was it? Your passion for living? How dare you? You aren't fit to wipe his boots. <laughs> and you were going to hate him for the rest of your life.